Hey there awesome physics students. I wanted to do an example of power in circuits. Uh, the situation I have here is two identical batteries, four identical light bulbs, but they're connected differently. These two light bulbs are connected in parallel to each other, whereas these two light bulbs are connected in series with each other. Now, uh, it's true that in, to find power for any object, uh, the power electrical power dissipated, you just take the product of the current through that object times the voltage drop across that object, and that will give you the power. And this works with or without Ohm's law. So for example, realistic light bulbs that you're going to see are uh, fluorescent tubes like this. These do not follow Ohm's law, but you can still use this because this comes from the definition of power. Similarly, these LED bulbs that you'll see, these are very common as well. You can use this because it comes from the definition of power, but you cannot use Ohm's law for these because these do not follow Ohm's law. On the other hand, uh, incandescent bulbs, these are bulbs that glow because they're hot. These approximately follow Ohm's law. So not only can you use Ohm's law for this, which we're going to do, uh, you can use the definition of power as well because this is always true. Okay. Now, it's a little bit of a fib that the, the resistance actually does change a little bit as these heat up, but we're going to ignore that for our purposes here. So uh, we're going to treat these as fixed resistors. So they're going to have a fixed resistance R. All right. So for each of these, we want to compare the brightness of these bulbs. And so to think about brightness, brightness correlates with the power. And so we need to think about the current through each bulb and the voltage drop across each bulb. Okay, so if we look at this circuit, for example, this series circuit, the total resistance of this circuit is going to be uh, 2R because these two are in series with each other. That's twice as much as each of these individually. Um, on the other hand, if we think, we imagine that there's uh, a current I that's passing through this resistor and current I that's passing through this resistor, that would mean that 2I is coming out of the battery. Uh, because this resistance is twice as much as this one individual resistance, that means that we're only going to get half as much current. So I'm only going to get I over 2 current coming out of the battery here. In addition to that, uh, the voltage drop across this first bulb here is going to be the same as the voltage drop across the battery. Same for this one, it's going to have the same voltage drop. Whereas this one, half of the voltage drop is going to occur across the battery, uh, uh, across the first light bulb, and the second half of the voltage is going to drop across the uh, second light bulb. So this is going to have a voltage drop across that's half the battery, and then the other half drops across this one. Okay. So when we compare these two, this one will have a power dissipated that is the current is half of the current up here, and the voltage drop is going to be half of the voltage drop as well. Whereas for this one, the power dissipated for just one bulb, for example, that's just going to be the current, which we call I, and then the voltage drop across here is the total uh, of the battery, so that's um, the voltage of the battery. and so you can see that this power is going to be um, uh, one-fourth of the power of this one. So these are going to be four times less bright, or they're going to dissipate one-fourth the power as one either of these. Now, to be fair, you can see this uh, pretty clearly here, because this is, exert this is outputting twice the current, this is outputting half the current, um, whereas these bulbs are the voltage drop is, is half as much, uh, half of the voltage is dropping across each of these. So that's the source of why. Again, what we want to do here when we're thinking about power and circuits is think individual circuit elements. How is the current through that element, uh, what's happening with the current, and then what's happening with the voltage drop across that individual element. All right?